Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. This video is all about Trello timeline tutorial. In case you have no idea what is Trello, so I'll tell you it is a platform where you can manage your work, like if you're managing a team, multiple clients, and a lot of different projects. So you can manage all that in one place at Trello. And within Trello, we have a feature called timeline where you can see all of your work in the form of a schedule or calendar and you will get to know what time is free for you and how much work is upcoming for you. So to use this platform, first you have to go to the browser and there you have to search for Trello or you can find its link in the description below. Either you can go with a link in the description or you can find a link in the results. Once you tap on it, you will get onto the website of Trello. Once you get there, it will show you the interface where you will see different boards. So you can go with any board that you have created before or you can just simply create a new one from scratch. It's all up to you. So here we have this option. I'm going from this existing one. Therefore, I'm just going to click on this project, which is named as project. Once I have clicked on to it that you can see it has been opened. So right now we are in the board view and here we have different list and under the list we have different cards. So all these cards have their due dates like on which date this task or this work has to be done. By doing this we will get to know that what kind of work is upcoming. So to view it in the form of timeline here we have this option timeline. In case if you don't have one then you have to click onto this option and there you will see this option of timeline. Make sure timeline option is enabled. If not, then you just have to simply enable it by just simply clicking onto that blue option. Once you do that, the timeline feature will get opened and there you will see this interface. So on the left side, we have our list and on the right side and all over the screen, we have the dates. So this timeline feature actually works in the form of calendar where it shows you all the dates and within that dates if you have any tasks that you have to do on that date it will show you there so that you will get to know on which day what kind of work you have to do and which day is for free and what is the upcoming work once you click on to any of your work it will open like this you can see all its profile and other options here we have a work of continuous five work then we have a break and then another day of work so by this view you will get to know all about that if you click on to that board option you will get back and once you click on to that timeline option you get back again to the timeline view let's create another board from scratch and there we will see how we can work on to that timeline feature therefore you have to get back and there you can see we have different templates that you can use or you can just simply search them by their categories if you don't want to go with these things, you can simply create one from scratch. For that, you just have to simply click on this option and after that, first you have to give a name to your board. It could be anything, whatever it is related to, you can just simply type it here. Another that, we have these options like background, you can just choose it. After that, you just have to simply create it and then you will see your board will be created. So first you have to click on this option and after that, you have to enable the timeline one. And once you do that, the timeline view will be there. Later on, you can add different kind of list according to your choice. First, you have to give a name to your list. And once your list is created, you can further create more or you can just simply add cards within it. The cards are as similar to tasks or you can say subtasks. So let's say if you have a client, you can name it into the list and whatever tasks you have related to that client, you can just simply mark them into that so you can create as much as list you would like to and you can also create as much as card you would like to there is no limitation to it whatever tasks you're upcoming you can just simply type it later on you can open up and you can add the date first you have to go to the date and after that you have to choose its due date and later on once you go to the timeline view there you will see on that specific day that you have choose the task will be added there Likewise, you just have to simply create different lists, different kind of cards, add their due dates and later on that will show into the form of timeline. So once you have created, you just have to simply open one, click on to date and after that you just have to choose the date and then simply click on to these save options and this task will get saved which is also called the card one and then you will see them into the form of timeline like on which day you have that work and which they are free other than that you can also manage 
what kind of options you want to see like you can choose your calendar dates whatever month you would like to and there are other options as well that you can choose so this was all about trello timeline tutorial here we see how we can enable this feature and how we can use this one to see our schedule i hope you found this video helpful and informative in case if you have not subscribed to the youtube channel then make sure to subscribe it for more informative videos and updates and i really appreciate you watching this video till the very end and thank you so much for it